Here's Angels from the Realms of Glory, the acoustic part. I'll play it once, and then we'll break it down a little bit. <clears throat> Starting on fret 5 with a three-note power chord. That's basically the song. It goes very fast. I'm sorry for the times where I got off rhythmically. I had a tough time hearing the computer, but once we're with the click track, it should be fine. <clears throat> now for the opening riff there, you're on fret 5 and fret 7, 
and you're creating a power chord with the A, the D, and the G string. And it's basically just like this. You're using your index on the 5th fret of the A string, you're using your ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, and you're using your pinky on the 7th fret of the G string to create a... All other strings are muted. This E is muted by both my, um, my index finger and my middle finger. They're kind of resting on the... And the lower parts are muted by this little... I'm just curving my finger around such that it's really grabbing on to these these top two strings, the B and the E, so that even if I hit the whole guitar, the only thing that sounds are those three strings. Those two strings don't sound, this string doesn't sound. And uh, then at this point, it's just a rhythm thing that you have to really work out. Your hand has to move really fast. The tempo is at 140, but what you need to do is slow it down and work your way up. So one, two, three, four. basically doing here is I'm I'm utilizing two different kinds of muting techniques. One of the muting techniques is it involves my right hand and as I come down on the strings I am hitting uh, hitting the string simultaneous with my pick as my hand so it gives that chuck sound. Down up. And then in between I'm doing that. I'm I'm actually I'm squeezing the chord and I'm lifting off the chord but still hitting the strings. It's a little bit more muted tone and it's even allowing some of the other strings to give off some harmonics, but the basic idea is I'm using the, the right hand mute and left hand pump pumping mute. You speed that up slowly. I, I'd suggest practicing this at a lower BPM, maybe 100. And each day as you get prepared for a rehearsal, up it about 10 BPM until you work your way up to 140. That's the only way that you'll get better is to start slow and make sure you've got all those mutes down and then work your way up rhythmically. That's that opening section. Then when you get to the verses, uh, you may have seen an interesting chord that I was using for B minor. Let me just show it to you. It's an alternate of this, and I don't care which one you use. You may use this one traditionally. It's just a little bit easier for me to go to this version of a B minor 7 from an A. Uh, you know, Here it is. My index is on fret 2 of the A string. My middle finger is on fret 2 of the G string and my ring finger is on fret 3 of the B string. And basically, it's just the inner four strings that are playing. I'm muting the low E and I'm muting the high E. It's a different kind of chord, but it's easy once you learn it to move from A to that B minor. Or you could just go... But the net effect is uh, a constant down, and you're not palm muting any of this verse. It's just... What I'm basically doing is I'm I'm slowing if I can slow it down a bit I'm hitting the bass notes I'm hitting the lower notes and just every every one two three four one two three four on every uh, you know for moving at that tempo one. You speed it up and you get this. It's really important that that nice driving straight da, 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 rhythm comes out of the acoustic guitar. But I'm not, again, I'm not palm muting any of this. I'm not doing... I'm just doing... I'd rather have that open sound on the acoustic.